Welcome to Groveside Cottage. A full cottage. And two of us are staying here for two nights. I'm in Saltburn by the Sea, incidentally, which is in Redcar and Cleveland, North Yorkshire, England. Two of us are staying here for two nights and it has cost £192.90. And, and first impressions, I've got to say, have been a bit rough because we couldn't get in, but I'll come back to that at a later point. Um, and first impressions upon walking into the bedroom, whilst it's a lovely, lovely big bedroom, and it really is, and it looks really good, it hasn't been vacked. And if you can see there, that is filthy. And in terms of COVID times, when hygiene is supposed to be of utmost importance, that is dreadful. So that's a mark knocked off from my books. So I'm quite concerned about that. And it makes you then wonder, is the rest of it clean? So I'm going to begin with that, just to put you on that note, because I am going to probably have very good things to say about the appearance, but I'm not happy when I come in and I can see that there's dirt on the floor. Even down there. Right, anyway, rant over. Let's look at the uh, positives. So it's a nice, big, king-size bed. And on either side of the king-size bed, there is um, a bedside cabinet with a lamp. There is two plug sockets down there, so that person can charge their phone while they sleep. And down here, there are also two plug sockets, so this person can as well, so that's good. There is a radiator just there. And another one over there with a flat screen Seki TV. Seki, never heard of them. That's my first ever Seki, right? Uh, you look out onto car parking, but that's not your car parking. That's somebody else's. Um, in fact, we've had to park out on the street on Marine Parade, um, which has not been a problem, actually, because it's free and there were some spaces. But maybe in peak times, that might be problematic. Big double wardrobe that comes with five, six coat hangers. Got a luggage rack. And then there's this thing here, which uh, has got a key on it. So, uh, I mean, you can sit on it. It's like a little puffy or whatever you want to call it. I'm guessing it's where the spare bedding's kept. I don't know. Uh, there's a drawer unit just here. So in terms of storage space for your clothing and whatever you bring luggage-wise, that is enough. It's, it's pretty good, actually. So that's decent. There's a selection of books. Some shelving. And then there's all these little cupboardy spaces, which has probably got... Yeah, utility stuff in, a couple more plug sockets if you want them, um, etc. And I guess it's going to be the same down here. Yeah, starts your gas meter or whatever down there. So you don't need to worry about that. And then we've got the first of two bathrooms, which is really, really novel. So I like that. So the first bathroom comes with the Jolly Octopus, uh, two hooks on the door. Well thought out. Hooks on the backs of bathroom doors are a very, very well uh, thought out touch. This is a wet room, so you've got a Myra electric shower just here. I'm guessing if I turn the power on, nothing happens. Oh, that's just for the power for the shower. Light on, that's it. And then the fan will come on up there. Okay, we'll turn this off. And then we've got a couple of loo rolls and you've got some Aqua Viva. Um, for um, washing and so forth. So this is a nice little space. Obviously the toilet's going to get soaked um, when you're using this room, but it is wet room, so you know everything will drain away down there. The sink is very small and in the corner. Again, nicely designed to make optimum use of space. And underneath the sink is another loo roll, a little souvenir for COVID in case of lockdown and loo roll shortages. I jest. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> Plenty. It's like bog roll fest. Right. Hello. So a little slim cabinet just there um, and a towel rail just here. So this is a very nice little bathroom, actually, which makes good use of the space. So not satisfied with bathroom number one. Well, hey, there's bathroom number two. So bathroom number two. So this is um, a larger space. And that, this space comes with a bath, and it's quite a wide bath and quite a deep bath. It looks like a, a very nice bath, actually. I'm not a bath person. 
But if I was a bath person, I'd probably quite happily have a bath in there. Uh, again, a couple more loo rolls, heated towel rail, toilet. Um, you've got some more soapy stuff just here. A cup for your toothpaste, a razor blade or whatever. Tap, and again, come on, cleanliness. I don't know. And then cupboard just there, no extra loo roll in this one. I love how the cupboard's recessed into the wall. Look at that, it really makes opti optimum use of space. It's really well thought out. Right, back into the bedroom and then upstairs. So back out into the bedroom and this is the front door for which I came and there's some coat hooks up there which is a, a good nice touch. There is a Wi-Fi router down here and you do have uh, Wi-Fi included. The code was sent to me this week. Uh, in fact there it is on the board as well. So all good, we've got some drawers. There's, you know, storage of plenty, little handy things, pegs in there, there is a washing line in the yard outside, pen and paper, and an empty one just here. It's a Yale lock um, on the door, just there, and uh, yeah, all good. And this is the cupboard under the stairs where Harry Potter lives, uh, but it's locked, unfortunately. We've locked him away, so we can't see Harry today. Sorry, kids. Right, let's go upstairs and uh, look at the rest of the apartment. Nice mirror there. Again, in terms of cleaning, cobweb. Right, so this is upstairs and this is very, very nice. So other than the little bits of uh, dirt and cobwebs, I, I don't, and the fact that I couldn't get in to start with, I don't have any other complaints. But this is really well designed. It's a beautiful space. I could quite happily live somewhere that looks like this. We've got another flat screen TV, another Seki. There's a, a tablet of sorts there. I'm guessing that might control things. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what it does. Uh, and a solid fuel burner, uh, which is a, a really nice thing to have. I have one of these at home and they are brilliant. They're very much more entertaining than the TV, to be quite honest. We've got a Juliet balcony. So I'll just open this to show you. So the Juliet balcony looks over the courtyard and that's where I came in. Okay, so just spin this round. So this is kitchen, dining room and living room. Yet yeah, we've got two more doors here and I have no idea what these are. So, oh, wow. Okay, so we've got tumble dryer and washing machine. Brilliant little light. That's great. That's on the right, on the left. It's the usual sort of stuff. Um, you know, you're cleaning stuff, which maybe the cleaner needs to use next time. Um, and also, um, what looks like uh, school lockers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't know what they're for, but I'm sure they've got bits and bobs in. Another mystery door. Where does this one open? The steam iron user guide. We won't be using that. Some nice uh, hooks on the back of the door, very well placed. Symmetry's good. Okay, so there's a, a nice tall chrome effect uh, radiator on the wall. And then the cooking hobs are gas with an electric oven, which is the best combination. There's a microwave. You've got your little boom box. You're not um, a buttered to anybody, so I'm guessing you could uh, make some noise in here. Um, toaster, tea, coffee and sugar pots. Is there anything in them? There is. That's nice. Nice touch. Uh, kettle. You've got some utensils and then we've got all the drawers. And this is well thought out. I have to say, whoever planned this has done a very good job. All your, all your things down here. So, I'm happy with what I can see and I'm getting over my initial difficulties at getting in here. A lot of it even got some more coffee, tea and um, cooking oil and black pepper. So I mean it's good that, you, that they do leave you things like that. Plenty of cleaning stuff there. Take note cleaner. 
and even more bits and bobs down there. Spare kitchen roll as well, which is good to have. Uh, there's heating instructions are dotted around in a couple of places. I've not uh, really read them yet, but if there's anything to report on the heating system, I'll let you know. Um, it is currently the first week of September. It's not warm. It's about uh, 17, 18 degrees outside uh, Celsius. Uh, but it feels okay in here. It doesn't feel warm in here, but it feels okay. It feels doable. Right, anyway. Oh, I'm glad I'm in. I'm happy I'm here. It does look like a really nice place. I've had a bit of a bumpy first impression, but let's see how things pan out. I'll uh, be back um, tomorrow. Okay, see you later, folks. Okay, just one more thing, which I didn't point out yesterday. We have a fridge freezer, which was very nicely stocked when we opened it. Uh, obviously, not with this stuff, but with the milk. And that was nice because we were gonna go and buy milk upon arrival, but we didn't need to. Also to note that in these cupboards down here, I think it's this cupboard, uh, not that one. Oh, there's uh, pet food. Somebody's left pet food here, so whether that's a permanent thing, there's doggy biscuits and there's tins of dog food down there. Uh, but there is no dishwasher, and that's a shame because when you go on holiday, the last thing you want to really do is to be doing the washing up in a sink in a plastic bowl, British style. Um, so a dishwasher, even a small countertop dishwasher over there or something like that um, would, would be a brilliant addition. Uh, or even just a standalone unit just here. You know, so I think that's something that uh, you should consider. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss Hit the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you hit the bell, then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films, then you might also like my second channel, which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel. You'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. And if you like what you see, please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media, then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel. That's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile, then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash moss travel tv dot wordpress.com or do a search for moss travel media on WordPress. And on vcontactor, you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash moss travel media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on moss travel tv at gmail.com. And once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.